So this, guys, is my first ever next-gen experience. Yes, this game is coming out on PS5, Xbox Series X, and it's right here, right now. I went all the way to Poland, and a big thanks to Square Enix for paying for my flights, my hotel, and gave me some swag. Just so you guys are fully aware how the video happened, how I recorded the game, I went all the way to Poland. Oh my. <laughs> so, this is Enrosh. I think that's how you say it. I might have said that wrong, but we're trying to find a new Earth, a new planet Earth. So we land on this planet, it looks great. It feels like Earth. But of course things go a little bit wrong. So this is the prologue, this is the beginning of the game. This is not me currently playing right now, this is B-roll. But I want you to sort of set up the game a little bit. It does feel like Earth. It feels like home. Yeah, the prologue sets up the game nicely and I want you, you guys to see it. I have played the game for multiple hours, so I've got loads of gameplay to show you guys. So, yeah, subscribe, like the video, and expect more exciting points. This is Square Enix's take on the whole division or loot-based RPG, basically, which is exciting. I'm excited to try a new IP, a new experience, a new loot-based game, sure. loot -based. Cuthbert. Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. So this is the beginning, but it's it's cut up quite quickly. So there's a lot of things missing. So we learn how to use cover, how to shoot, the base mechanics, basically, of the game. Source. There. So it's a weird signal. So we should go and have a look. What is this signal? What is going on? What, what is this storm? Again, this is a very cut down version of the beginning of the game. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing, I'm good. on the probe. Good work. Get the drive to get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. <laughs> Where is this signal coming from? Oh, damn it! Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Nine, seven, point. Tanner, do you copy? Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. What the fuck? It looks like a normal planet. It looked like maybe potentially Earth 2.0, and then this happens. What the? So you're an outrider. You're the most elite soldier. You're the, the elite of the elite. So you're being put on this planet to uh, sort of take it over, I guess. Find the planet. Find Earth 2.0. People are just evaporating. That's normal. I love that scream. Oh. <laughs> so what? Love it. You probably would do that though. Your friend just exploded in front of you. Now you're gaining these crazy powers. So the storm kills people or gives you powers. So you get one or the other. We just got a bit lucky. Contamination. I need 
When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. So we're put back into cryo sleep. And then we wake up roughly, I think it's 20 years later. And this is the character I made in the game. This is now officially the gameplay I recorded. And somehow he got speared. The storm appeared again. Everybody would normally just die in this storm. But for some reason we're alive. We're alive and well. And we saw that crazy spear thing out of our chest. So there's more before this that I, I couldn't recall. And the weapon. And now we jump into the gameplay. In front of you there is Ollie 43, a fellow YouTuber. He is Outrider 26. We are playing two players. We can play all the way up to three players, and the game scales depending on how many players you have. Can play solo as well, if you guys are wondering. And it's a motor in the game. Of course. And that's my ability. It's a melee close hit. And it does a lot of damage. And the effects that it has on the enemy are incredible. Like you will see it in action. The first skill you get as a trickster is my class. Uh, Ollie is the pyro monster. And the, the last one is Devastator. And there's also an unannounced character. Unannounced class that will be announced, I guess, at some point in the coming months. So I don't know what it is, but no idea. Yeah, so as the, uh, the trickster, you have to get very close. That's how you gain shield and health. It's a bit like Doom, you have to go in close to get your health back. You can't just hang back and heal up, regenerate health. So go in, get the kills, which I like. I hate sitting back behind cover and waiting to heal up. No, don't like that. So again, this is a another loot-based RPG game. Some of you guys might be like, oh my. <laughs> Honestly though, I really enjoy the game. The combination of powers and skills with the other classes, the co-op, felt really good. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, I've only played for three to four hours, so I can't talk, talk about end-game content, for example. I think it's the beginning, basically. So. Yeah, don't take my. It's not, this isn't a full review, it's a first impression. Please do. But from what I played, I really like it. Gameplay is frantic. Power is incredible. Really fun. Uh, also, that well tier in the top left hand corner. Uh, that is basically. If I take it, that is bad. Oh my. That is a skill. The trickster is so cool. I love the trickster so much. Yes, the world tier is basically the difficulty, so you can increase difficulty as you progress to unlock uh, more world tiers. Uh, basically, you're going to some harder, a high level, better weapons. It gets harder, basically. You know, got all the way to world tier 5. You know, maybe a max of 6. I got to level 12, I think? I was the... The second section I was the Devastator. The first section I was the Trickster. I can't move. Yeah, people do take a bit of a, a bit of a hit. And yes, there's gonna be a, the occasional bullet sponge in it. It's, 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 it's an RPG looter shooter. <laughs> That's just how it is. Look at that. The Pyro Monster. We both combined our skills there and just took those two out instantly. Oh, the skills are so good. Can you unlock new skills? Every couple of levels, you will see. Trickster, you're going to see all the way to I think level ten. The map I can show you. The forest. When we landed, really couldn't really hear what he said there, but he's basically saying this is what happened to me earlier with the forest, with the storm. 
it's back. The storm is back and angrier than ever. So we got put in our cryo sleep. We basically just been sleeping for 20 years. Some people survived the uh, the storm and they tried to live. They tried to survive. You'll meet characters that you met at the beginning. It's quite an interesting mechanic. Oh, there's a flamer around and he takes a lot of hit. See the crystals pinging off. Doing three damage is not a lot. Of hit, but... Look at that. Just a backwards here. I love the trick star. Definitely one I'm going to pick. 100% when the game comes out. It's one of those games I really want to try and set up a free player on when it comes out. Just keep on recording. Just keep live streaming. Can't, can't wait for. My BMC is ready. I'm letting the game take Good job, ammo, ammo, and we have leveled up. Our health has gone up. Our ability power has gone up. We've now got slow trap. Oh, yes. One of my favorite abilities. So we press the LB and the RB, and it brings up like a bubble. And in that bubble, everybody's slowed down. It's incredible. I cannot wait for you to see it. I could smell the storm in your blood, your stink of Enoch. Your kind are abominations, exile. Who the hell are you? Outrider. Impossible. Such untapped power, such confusion. You want answers. Whatever you were before, you're something new now. A second life. Don't waste it. Who was that? Lord Zeth? He's... He's altered. I think it's a little man. A little man. Altered? What the fuck does that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. Where'd you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's on the wrong side. Altered. What are you talking about? The Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come on. Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Shira? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. You got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud and shit. I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine, but fried. All our data wiped out. Couldn't grow crops or make medicine. So we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have... The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. Miss out on all this. Grand Marshal, we were too late. The hounds have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yakko. Yakko? He's still alive? No. 
Not too much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. I am. I am. Never mind. We've got it covered. Yeah, so we've unlocked now easy. I guess you can call it. So world tier two. Does it go up to 15? Jesus. Okay, that's quite high. <laughs> that's mad. That's so still me so and yeah, Ollie's in trouble. And I need to go save his ass. It's now time for a reunion. Never change. Hey, Shira. I'm geared up and tracking down Yagra. Now, who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the Hounds. And believe me, no one's gonna meet them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Honestly? Because they're black market and keeps our soldiers happy. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents we're fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. I believe we have two pistols. Oh yes. Jewel wielding! So that was the hub world, by the way. It's where, you get, where you get a lot of your side missions, missions, talk to characters. I'm looking for Yaku Dabrowski. Go away. Listen, asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your. Wow. <laughs> that is quite the entrance. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> Potentially. Oh, Jesus. Love it. Yeah, I want to use our new, uh, our new ability. Such a cool ability. I used it a bit in incorrectly there. So briefly. Oh, it's melted away. I love the combination of the powers as well. You can really get a synergy together. Great shooting there, Scott. Oh, just left like four enemies at once. That was beautiful. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. That looks fucking incredibly beautiful. Where you can just see him burn and like float. And there's a float. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. You can see I don't really quite know what I'm doing with the power yet, because um, I keep doing it. We have to go really close to the enemy. We have thrown down. <gasps> Look at the bullets! That is oh, it's so cool! This is so good. He seems like come towards you just to move out of the way of them. The enemies approach you, get into the circle, into that bubble, and they all slow down. It is so, so satisfying. Yeah, for me the selling point is definitely the combat. I love the combat. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are coming towards the end of the video. It's a bit of like a random part to end it. It's got some new clothes there, I think. So you get armor, guns, secondary eight guns. There's a lot that goes into the loot. And I will be touching on that briefly in the next video. But yeah, we can only show you guys 20 minutes, so... Unfortunately, this is like a, just a random cut that's coming up. I'm really sorry. I'd like to show you guys more, but that's the embargo, so I don't want to get in trouble. So the next wave is coming. These guys just run at you. Run, 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 and they will try and take you out as quick as possible, and it's quite scary. Right. Ooh, too bad that game, though. Uh, if they're weak enough, they will just explode. But if they've still got a bit of health left, they still just take the hit. And yes, we now have a shotgun. Damn! See, they look quite rusty. They're quite a low-level weapon. Obviously, it's going to be fairly useless soon. Yeah, the, the gameplay's about to stop. I'm so sorry! Yeah, so the guys that made this game also worked on a game called Bulletstorm, which I love a lot. It's really, 
actually got a lot of first person experience. And it does feel a bit like a sort of bullet storm esque game in some ways. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was Outriders. I cannot wait to show you guys more of the game. I cannot wait to play more. The combat for me is definitely the selling point. I've only played the game for a few hours, so I don't want to touch too much on like, is it a good loot based game? Was the story good enough? The story definitely intrigued me. I was definitely sort of taken in. I wanted to keep playing. Uh, you customize your character, you pick the class, and then you're, you just go, which is really cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye.